Well, hey, Eric, nice to see you again. Hey, Corey, great to see you. <laughs> hey, uh, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about your... Sure, I'd be happy to. My name is Eric Bates. I'm the general manager at the Wingspread Retreat and Executive Conference Center. That's uh, part of the Johnson Foundation up here in uh, Racine, Wisconsin, Wind Point, Wisconsin. Wonderful. Um, got a great topic today. I know you're really passionate about this. Winter meetings and why we should not give them the cold shoulder. Absolutely, and I love this one because you, we talk to people all the time, planners from all over the world, all over the nation uh, that wanna bring meetings here to Wingspread, and they tend to stay away from this January through March timeframe, even December sometimes, mm. because they think, oh, w w Wisconsin, it's gonna be cold. Well, yeah, it probably will be a little chilly, absolutely, but don't rule out winter meetings. There's a lot of reasons why winter meetings especially winter meetings here at Wingspread can be really, really um, engaging. It's a great remedy for cabin fever. Uh, mm. a, a, a few reasons why I think that way. And I think over the last couple of years, a few, reason why, a few reasons why so many groups have agreed with us and they've, they've come and tried a winter meeting here and they've loved it. Um, one, like I said, it's a great way to energize the rest of the year. It's the beginning of the year for most folks, beginning of the financial calendar for most. So this January, February, March timeframes are a great time to kind of get your team together and kick them off to a great start doing something fun. The other reason I think winter meetings are so uh, valuable is that winters in, in Wisconsin are short. Uh, the, day, the days are short. So you don't have to feel like you need to pack in a ton of agenda items. Mm. You can have a really impactful short meeting and it'll feel like an all day meeting, right? You're getting there in the morning, you're having a nice breakfast, you're doing a short meeting throughout the day and you're having some fun in the afternoon. Mm. Uh, and then people are kind of, you know, able to gather around a big roaring fire outside and it's nice and cozy. And it's only 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. So you're not keeping them out too late. Yeah. Um, I think the thing that's important when we do these, though, is we always inform our attendees of what we think the weather is going to be like so they can prepare. So sure. some folks we've had come from other climates and they don't have coats and jackets and gloves, and we're more than happy to help them source them. Uh, one particular group I know uh, went to the local thrift store and found all the gloves and hats and, and coats that they needed. We're able to contribute to the thrift store and then donate those items right back into the into the stream for people that needed them after that. So. Love that doesn't necessarily mean you have to pack everything to come here. The other thing, though, is that there are a lot of folks that live in the Midwest or live in a winter climate that it really is no big deal. If they're going to get their coat on and get in their car and go to the office, why not get their coat on, get in the car and come to Wingspread where they can have a retreat and kind of beat this cabin fever that's going on where people are kind of itching to get out of the office and they're itching to get out of their homes um, and kind of do something different. And for most of us, for, for, me, for me, and the reason I'm so passionate about it is I grew up in this environment. I love winter. Uh, you know, the, the snow, the beauty, the calmness, the peacefulness that winters tend to bring. It's a great opportunity to get outside and enjoy. And as kids, we always did that. But as adults, I don't think we do it quite as much unless you're a skier, perhaps. Right. right. So the key for us is to make them charming. Right. We want to make them charming, maybe a little nostalgic. Think s'mores around an open campfire think sledding or building snowmen or we had a group that came out and, and had a competition between a, a bunch of their teams on building a logo out of snow of their cor corporate logo out of snow oh, and so nice. they had three teams building their corporate logo out of snow it was a riot it was so much fun um so and then others have built snowmen and had little uh, judging competitions and things like that so you can make them competitive or you can make them just sort of fun a good way to get out and play in the snow um We've done snowball fights, not real snowballs, um, but we use those big um, uh, play balls, that those plastic play balls that you find in the kids, you know, jump pits, right? Yep. And you throw those outside in the winter and, and still have a good time being outside without getting anybody hurt. So that's always fun and a little nostalgic. Um, and then there's things like pudgy pies and hobo packs that we can make uh, mm. inside and take them out over the open fire and cook their own supper over, over the open fire. That's an awful lot of fun. And our chef always likes to help find creative gourmet ways to make those very interesting and unique. So keeping them, I think, cozy and warm is the key. Um, and we do that with, you know, we have big fuzzy fur blankets and big throws and big comfortable chairs around the campfire. And we just let that thing roar all night long and people snuggle up around them and have a great mm. time. Love it, sounds intimate. It's. Uh... In fact, I think the last time I was there, it was it was it was definitely late fall or early winter. And if a 
SoCal boy who's never lived any, <laughs> anywhere else, but I've uh, got flip flops and shorts on and I made it and it was, I, I, I it was it was more than inviting. I loved that whole ambiance of the living room, and we had, you know, the chef and the bartender. There was something very, very, uh, just so inviting about yeah. that that part. Loved it. it it's it's a, a really unique experience that you really don't get to do any other time of year. I think the to the the last one we did at the end of last year was such fun because this client was really in, uh, uh, interested in doing nearly their entire meeting outside they they did they did the bulk of their meeting inside mm. but a lot of their meeting happened outside all of their food and beverage happened outside so we have the, our big outdoor grills our big uh, uh, wood-fired outdoor grills um, loaded them up with cast iron skillets of uh, stone fruit crisps like apple crisps and berry crisps and things like that uh, um, peach crisps think all those kind of warm uh, aromatic uh, things that we cooked out over the open fire um, we did a grilled cheese bar. We were doing grilled cheese out over the open fire. We had wow. cast iron cornbread. We had a, uh, a chili cook-off between that particular group. So they were doing different chilies outside over the fire. Um, and everyone got to sample those. And we did some beef stews and some chicken stews. We have these great little thermal mugs that we load them up with. And so it's, your stew stays nice and hot. And you can mingle around outside with a hot toddy or a Irish cream and coffee or Irish cream and hot chocolate play uh, all the games that we play during the summer we can still play during the winter so there's bags competitions and things like that that are going on outside and it's really a festive environment you're warming them on the inside you're keeping them cozy on the outside and you're giving them a really great reason to network and networking at the end of the day is what all of these sorts of spaces at wing spread are about and why getting together for a winter meeting can be just as good as any other time in terms of networking I love that. No, that's uh, you said it very so so well. Um, yeah. Um, well, hey, th those are some incredibly uh, enticing uh, reasons why uh, winter time is definitely probably as good, if if not any, is the time to to have a meeting. Appreciate you sharing those with us. You're welcome. Actually, you know what? And I I was going to be just about done. I couldn't think of anything oh. else, but there is something else that I can think of that actually is going to be really beneficial. That is, uh, winter meetings tend to be less expensive. So if we're talking about um, a, a company that might want to save a few nickels on a, on a meeting or do a local meeting, the winter is a great time to do it. Because like I said, there's not a lot of companies that like to come out and do winter meetings and embrace the outdoors. But those that do can really benefit from the fun, unique environment, and some really great values in terms of uh, being able to find a space like Wingspread at a bargain price in the off season. Um, Right, we're, we're going to be running some specials this winter in terms of uh, some great value adds. One of them I know we'll be running is a buy one, get one deal, right? So if you're buying it, if you, you bring your meeting out, we'll add a second day onto your meeting for nothing or allow you to come back for a second day meeting uh, sometime before the end of March. So wow. we think uh, it's great. We got this idea from actually a client last year who brought out their leadership team and then had a board meeting that following day. And we gave them that board meeting for free. So it was kind of um, a unique way to do sort of a buy one, get one in a winter space sometime between January and March uh, that provided a great value for that company. So we love doing these meetings in the winter. Hey, value add and, and a way to uh, cut costs. That's, uh, that's always at the top of uh, everybody's priority list. So that's a great uh, way to end the, the convo. Thank you. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome, Corey. Great to be on with you again. Appreciate it. Thanks Maybe so much, next Eric. time the snow will be falling. Yeah. Hey. Love it. I, I can't wait to come out and visit with you guys again. Definitely. Yeah, please do. Have a great weekend. Take care. Thanks. You too, Corey. Take care. Mm -hmm.